Welcome back to Let's Go and Bet. Brent back at you here with another bet show. Thanks for listening. Like we always say, we really appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share. We're off to this week. A uh, little brief recap from last week. I can't believe it. Again, the fourth week in a row. Triple digit winner to start the year. Matthew Pavon, holding up Hoygaard and Steven Yeager. Xander was in the mix uh, there a bit, but wasn't making enough putts on Sunday. If any winners out there know the last time uh, any triple digit winners happened four weeks in a row, please comment and let me know because I can't remember any of my uh, weeks of trying this, uh, running through the circuit here the last few seasons. I, I definitely haven't seen that. But uh, we're off to this week, Pebble Beach Golf Course. It's a great field. It's an 80-player field. It's uh, the first elevated event of the year, which is it's good. We got Rory teeing it up for the first time this year. We got Scotty Scheffler out there. We got all the big guns, all the best play players on the PGA Tour at the moment are going to be playing out there. Uh, this week, the weather. The weather is absolutely huge, you winners. It's, it's going to be a real factor. It's possibly one of the worst weather weeks we're going to face uh, in this long season. It's going to be steady to light rain for most of the week. Definitely overcast and extremely high winds. There's some gust uh, showing up to 60 kilometer gust. Um, you know, the rough, they don't keep it as deep here at Pebble Beach as they do, for instance, for like a U.S. Open. But when the rough becomes wet and uh, the wind is up, it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, there could be some high numbers out there this week. Past champs at this event uh, last year at minus 18, Justin Rose took it. 2022, Tom Hoagie. Minus 19. 2021, Daniel Berger at minus 18. 2020, our Canadian boy here, Nick Taylor, won at minus 19. And uh, 2019, Phil took it at minus 19. So that's a pretty consistent number of uh, the last five years for the winner. But with this tough weather this week, I'm going to downgrade that a few shots. I'm going to say it's going to be between the minus 13 and minus 16. We'll take the, take the win this week. The course, like I said, we're at, uh, it's two courses, as a matter of fact. It's uh, first off, though, at Pebble Beach, California, established 1919, par 72, just over 7,000 yards, can play under seven, one of the shortest tracks you'll see all year. Got the Poana grass and uh, the winter ride grass fairways. It's held many majors, like I said before. Um, at a short golf course, it can play tough. Uh, seaside winds, deep rough. And uh, one day of the week, they're going to be playing at Spyglass Hill. It's a neighboring course, sister course, I guess you could say. It's a par 72, 7,000 plus yards. Poe Anna Greens again. Course record was 62 there by Mickelson and Donald. A lot of people uh, like to play weather stacks this week when they're betting too. Uh, they wouldn't mind having their, their guys go off first at Spyglass. Because if you get off a tough start over at Pebble, uh, it could be 80 plus on the scorecard. Key stats we're looking at, strokes gained approach, strokes gained around the green, which I think is going to really come into handy. Um, you're not going to hit a lot of greens out here in this uh, definite high wind day. Driving accuracy, find fairway, stay under the thick, wet, rough. Guys, guys who like to play in the rain, guys who um, enjoy wind playing too, and uh, Poe and a putters. Also, uh, two to eight foot putts uh, are missed on Poe and a greens. 2% more than uh, any other surface. I don't know what the reasoning being for that is. I know it maybe gets a little bumpy later in the day. Um, but now in the days of players being allowed to put down the spike marks, pat them down, I uh, wonder if those numbers are a little closer to the other surfaces. Well, I'm going to give you our top 10 power ranking best bets uh, of the week and uh, some long shots in my personal bet card. That's usually how we operate over here. Let's try to get a win this uh, this week and get up on the year. Number one on our power rankings, Victor Hovland, the Norwegian, 12 to 1. Number two, Rory McIlroy, 9 to 1. Number three, Patrick Cantlay. A lot of people big on Patrick this week. Number four, the king of California, Max Homa. You know, Max doesn't mind these tough conditions coming from California. Number five, Justin Thomas. I really believe JT's back. Let's see uh, how he plays. Number six, Colin Morikawa, another California kid who uh, enjoys this kind of conditions. A lot of people don't look at him as a good uh, 
bad weather player, but Colin uh, definitely can hold his own in the bad weather. Number seven, Scotty Scheffler. Let's see if he can make some putts and uh, hang around. Number eight, Xander Schauffele, another California guy. He's at 14 to one. Number nine, Matt Fitzpatrick. These conditions, real tough, uh, windy, blustery. Let's see if the Euros pop uh, just like last week. And number 10, I'm going to go Eric Cole, 60 to one, just because, you know, Cole is one of my guys, ride or die for the, the meantime. And uh, the shorter style course, the way he plots his way around, finds fairways, finds greens, and uh, makes a lot of putts. We'll see. Now I got some four long shots here that kind of stood out to me. First one, Kevin Yu has been on a real heater. You can get him at 80 to one, which I thought is a great number. Next one, Nick Dunlop, talk about a heater. He's just fresh off turning professional. Now let's see if uh, he can cash some checks. Patrick Rogers, 90 to one. Pretty good number for Patrick. He's uh, one of those guys people have been talking about, you know, trying to win for years, been close, been close. Let's see if he does it. And our Canadian brother here, 150 to one, Mackenzie Hughes has been good in form. Now you winners, I'm gonna give you my personal bet card for the week. I'm gonna start off here at 55 to 1, Eric Cole. Ride or die, let's get it done this week, Eric. Our next play, Justin Thomas. 20 to 1, great number for JT. I believe he's back. Let's see how he does. Number 3, the King of Cali, Max Homa. 22 to 1. You know, let's, let's go, Max. Let's get that win in your home, uh, your home state. A bit of a long shot here. We're going to go Nick Dunlop. But at 85 to 1, let's see if he can, can cash some checks, get it close to the lead. I'm really a true believer of fine form, and uh, Nick's playing excellent golf at the moment. Next pick, Matt Fitzpatrick, 30 to 1. I like Fitzy here this week. And our last play of the week, another California boy, Colin Morikawa. Like I said, he, he, uh, he can pop in the rain. He's accurate enough. He's going to keep it in the fairways. He's going to find greens. Let's get that putter rolling, Colin. Now, you winners, uh, I'd like to thank you for all your support. Like always, let's win some money, play responsible. Good luck this week.